How's it going guys? Welcome back to the channel. We're back out here with Rick and you guys might, you know what, let's take a walk real quick because you guys might actually recognize this job from a vlog a while back. This is the boulder wall project that I bitched and complained about because you know, you know how much I hate boulder walls. <laughs> Good lord fly away. Hate being in the woods with the flies. So anyway, this is the boulder wall project. So I'm going to spin you guys around see if you recognize it. Our yard is actually filled in and it looks pretty dang good. In fact, I'm gonna walk back here and give you guys a better view of the actual wall. So if you guys remember, I left this little island out here for her to landscape. That has totally filled in with whatever that is. I don't know plants. Lilacs maybe, sort of, I don't know. I don't know what they are. Some plants, they're pretty, they have flowers. So let's go out here on our little dock. And we'll take a look here. Look at that. That looks pretty stinking nice. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but here in northern U.S., the northern part of the U.S., Michigan specifically, where I'm at, we've had torrential rains. And this whole thing is held up. It's totally firm. There's no squish to it whatsoever. So that whole floating yard thing that we talked about when we were putting this in, which if you don't know what I'm talking about, click up here. And you can go watch that video of that whole installation. But that floating yard works really, really well. So if you're working with boggy ground, use that technique, it's awesome. So here's our culvert, um, which you know what? I'll back up and give you an overview of that because you haven't seen it since Rick's been back here with the mulcher. So he has mulched, if you guys remember, I left a huge pile of shit right there. He has mulched all that up and he's actually started mulching trails back into the woods there. Um, we're not going to walk back there right now. So what we're doing today, though, is we are going to put in some rails for this walkway or this driveway, whatever you want to call it. So we're going to drive posts right along the sides here, right along the sides here. Fair warning, this is going to be a short day for me. It's, what, 3, 4 o'clock in the afternoon. We're just going to drive the post today, which is what I'm going to participate in. And then I'm actually going to Texas tomorrow, so I'm not going to be here for the actual building of the rails but we don't have heavy equipment for that and you're watching my channel you don't care about carpentry we care about heavy equipment damn it so anyway we're gonna drive some posts we have a blue diamond post driver uh which i will walk back up front here in a second i'm not gonna make you sit through that but we'll walk up there and look at that here in a second we're gonna drive our posts which you can see them sitting right back over there um you can see we've got tar on the bottom half of them so that whatever's below the water line Obviously, if it's below the water line, you can never stop rot, but we can at least extend the life of them as long as possible. So we'll get a decade out of those before they really go to shit. So anyway, that's the project for today. So I'm gonna shut the camera off. I'm gonna walk back up front. And when you see this camera turn back on, we're gonna be looking at that blue diamond post driver. See you in a second. All right, so here we are at the trailer. This is the post driver. This is the blue diamond post driver. I don't know the model. I only think they carry one in all honesty. Uh, this can drive, in theory, up to a 12-inch post, um, but we're only doing 4x6s today, so we have a little adapter plate that's going to go on it, but basically you've got the driver itself here, and you've got a little grapple for picking up the posts here. What we're about to figure out, because none of us are quite sure, is this little switch box here is going to hook onto the attachment and go into the cab, and I'm assuming, we will find out, but I'm assuming that's how you toggle between the driver and the grapple but we're gonna find that out here pretty quick. So here comes Rick, he's dropping his bucket, he's gonna come pick this up. And then one of us will meet you in the cab. I don't know who's gonna run the machine, it's gonna be either me or Rick. One of us will walk you through the process, whether it's me or Rick. So one of us will catch you in the machine in a minute. everybody so we switched out and now it's my turn to learn this contraption but I have no idea how it works we're gonna try not to seriously maim or injure someone ready for it
Now see where Rick's got me here, and I think he knew it, is I can't get all sideways in here like he could because of the existing posts. Yeah, Rick set me up for failure here because I got all the existing posts behind me. Can I get sideways on it? Is it gonna cover it? If I come at an angle like I am? Okay. You want to do one more? Okay. So towards that way, okay. You want me to push that over and let you shove some dirt in there? Yeah. All right, so this attachment isn't, isn't as complex as I thought it was gonna be. It's not, not too terrible. That being said, I'm still a total rookie at this. I have no idea what I'm doing. Back here. And now we get to, like Rick said, with a heavy attachment all the way in the air, we're gonna get on this soft stuff, which always makes you pucker as an operator. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. I don't know what Rick was complaining about. What's that? I don't have time to give you a drone lesson right now. Dude, you gotta have my phone hooked up to it. You gotta put props on, like. Ready for it? Yeah. You want me to get on it and hold it? Huh? You want me to get on it and hold it? Doesn't go down. That's the only problem. I already thought about that. It only works on the way up, not on the way down. Oh, really? Yeah. That's a dumb I know, I know. The <clears throat> I know. Jesus. I had the same thought when they told me about it. Wouldn't you make that work both ways, dude? You would think. What'd you think? Yeah, that's all you've been doing. I just set up the job and walked away. Typical hey, Rick. That's right. Give her, give her a couple hammers. Okay. Good. You want to check your level? I'll hold it.
Right on the money? I should have been doing it this whole time. You go with it? Okay. Woo. A little soft, a little soft. Ready? Are you okay with that? You know where you're at with the post, or do you need me to? Your string with your track, rookie. Well, that's what I was just asking. Do you need me to get off the string, or you know where you're at with your post? I think you're good. Because I can re readjust if you need me to. So I need to go that way further. What's that? You want me to lift up? You want me to back out of here or are you good? Uh, hang tight. God dang, you got this covered with shit. I know. Just sitting here gets it real messy. You, know, you <laughs> and that mulcher. <laughs> you have yet to let me run that mulcher. Well, you know what? I got some serious good stuff coming up for you. you there you go. Actually, I'd like for you to start learning to help me on some of this shit. We'll get there once I get back from Texas. Well, now that you've got your other stuff rolling, dude, it makes it so much easier for us. Yeah. Are you ready for it? Yeah. Hey, not to burst your bubble, but Josh actually ran the pecan head. Oh. What'd you think of it? It's pretty, cool. pretty tight, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I put him up in the man lift. He cut some trees. Nice. Tell him to just pipe down. Just tell him to pipe down. <laughs> Towards me? Good. Another couple of whacks?
First thing. Watch your head. Something like that. What's that? Out there? No, tilt back. Oh. Check it. All right, guys, we're going to keep at it. I'll flip you over to the time lapse. All right guys, we have come to the end of our short job here. We were here for, well, let me look. Oh, it's already seven o'clock, wow. So three hours, um, and half of that was learn how to use the post hole di uh, driver. What am I trying to say? Anyway, these guys are trying to find the drain to the gutter that we cut off here at one point in time. Uh, you're gonna see in the hyperlapse, I was back and forth in the skid. This is what I was doing. If you guys may remember, we had a fire pit here. And so we grabbed all that and took it back here in the woods and just disposed of it where it's out of sight. That's what the homeowner wanted to do. He's good with it. But uh, we threw it back here deep in the woods. But here's our work for today. So we have some posts and they look pretty dang straight for it being our first time using one of those. So you can see this is gonna kinda, this is gonna kinda fan out for an apron. Uh, this is gonna go straight because you've got the yard here and then as we round the corner, which by the way, what they're doing back here, they're gonna have some four wheeler trails for the grandkids. And so we're essentially making a safety railing so they don't go, you know, hauling ass into the water. But this is gonna fan out here. And then this is gonna fan out here. Uh, Rick's gonna come back and put railings on all this and and it will look nice and pretty. And But basically he's got the start of some trails. He's been back here mulching the last couple weeks. And so he's got a trail that spits off down there. That's where I took the uh what you call fire pit to so anyway that's it it was a short short little job here but it was fun it was entertaining we got to use a new toy that none of us had used before and i will say if you do fence posts all the time that's a slick little attachment it was not at all what we were expecting but it is a slick little attachment so anyway that's going to do it for this one thanks for following along and uh as always we'll catch you guys on the next one